Born Orden. How do we define the bond order? Or we can say bond length. Bond length and bond order. So we have bond length and bond order. We have this compound CH double bond CH2. And we have CH3, CH double bond CH2. It is alpha and it is beta. So which has more bond order? We have H, CH2, CH double bond CH2. And will show minus H plus and it will show CH2 minus CH and it bond will shift over here and it will go here. It will be CH2 double bond CH CH2 minus H plus. So bond order. Alpha has more bond order than beta. Instead, bond length, beta has more bond length than alpha. So, alpha has more bond order than beta. Alpha and beta, which is more bond order, alpha. Why? Because in alpha, there is a complete double bond. Bond order is 2. But it is a partial double bond, right? Sometimes it has double bond. Sometimes it has single bond. You can say the bond order lie approx between 1.5, not exactly 1.5. And how to calculate the bond order, we have seen previously in the application of resonance how do we calculate but here we are including the hyper conjugation that's why we are looking final bond order how do we calculate so here hyper conjugation is involving so it is not exactly two it is not exactly 1.5 as well it is near to 1.5 and how much near it is closer to 1.6 or closer to 1.4 we have seen in the bond order how do we calculate that but right now we are not focusing on that right now we are focusing the effects effect of bond order with hyper conjugation as well including all the factors resonance also so we have some questions right of bond order and bond length uh, we, we just compare the bond order only we know bond order is inversely proportional to bond length or bond length is inversely proportional to bond order so when we talk about the bond order first we have the question this Now we have to calculate the bond order in all these problems. How do we calculate the bond order? We we know we have to compare the bond order, not exactly color. Here completely alpha and beta. It is bond order is exactly two, and here it is nearly one point not five. Here less than one, less than two. So, so bond order is alpha greater than beta because it has hyper conjugation. Four hyper conjugation structure, hyper conjugating structure. So obviously it will have a lot of single bond connector but when we see the second case we have alpha and beta so alpha is greater than beta bond order it is because beta has more three alphas and it has two alphas third we have alpha and beta so beta will be greater than alpha when we talk about the bond order because less alpha h and in case of alpha beta gamma 
alpha gamma then beta because alpha is resonance it is 1.5 nearly bond order and gamma gamma has beta is completely two bond order and gamma has not exactly one bond order the hyperconjugating structure are actually less stable right so bond order first of all beta then gamma it lies between two and somewhere but resonance is more effective so we will consider resonance as the more effective nearly 1.5 and gamma even we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 10 alpha is gamma we have 10 alpha is but it's still 10 but it's still it is less than uh, resonance because it is more effective resonance is more effective here bond order alpha and beta we know alpha is greater than beta it is intense bond order alpha is greater than beta in sixth case It is alpha and it is beta. So bond order beta will be greater than alpha because beta is hyper conjugation, which is less effective. Alpha is resonance, which is more effective. Seven. We have beta. This is alpha. This is beta. This is gamma. So it is beta gamma then alpha. alpha beta so which is more we know beta is greater than alpha alpha beta gamma alpha then beta then gamma then beta then alpha so this is the order of bond now why how do you calculate alpha we have resonance beta we have hyper conjugation in this pure double bond order is 2 so gamma has most bond order than beta then alpha because the dilution is of double bond is more in case of resonance as compared to hydrogen we have seen a lot of cases now we we'll talk about brett's rule here only we talks about the brett's rule let's talk about the brett's rule what the brett's rule say that sp2 atoms cannot accommodate at bridge head position sp2 atoms does not cannot accommodate at bridge head position so why how it could not accommodate because these are bridge head position in bisexual compound we know what is the bridge head because it if bridge head sp2 has to be sp2 and sp2 is planar so how could the structure look like this then it is to planar But still, the bond goes like this, so it is not possible. On bridge and carbon, the carbon cation is not possible. So because it will for sp2 and sp2 has to be planar, and it look like planar like this. Now how it can go beyond to this, right? So you have to tell which carbon cation can exist or not. so which can exist or which can not so this can exist yes this can exist this can exist this can exist this can exist this not this can exist this can exist and uh, this can also exist so particularly this will not exist because this is bridge and carbon and carbon content cannot accommodate over here 